up coming at my pores Walk in by the whole store Remember I was poor Oh well not no more Get paid fuck these hoes Used to have to sell that rock Now we'll be and rocking that sexy stuff I already talked about You're gonna be Sending that out And you can you can Feel free to fire off mass text Like if, if the chick's ignoring you Like you can just like Blast a bunch of mass texts Or a bunch of boundary texts To the ones that are annoying You have nothing to lose Right Like maybe she'll bitch you out Or whatever Who, who gives a fuck Um you don't want to get in this pattern of like letting them, you know, ignore you and, and flake on you and all this shit. Like I had a chick today, she's flaked twice and like normally I wouldn't even allow that, but she's really hot and I'm going to see, that's the one I'm going to see tomorrow at 3 o'clock. And I was like, listen, this is your last chance. Like, that's, that's another line you can use. I'm like, this is your last chance. Like you really fucked up twice. They're, the reason I'm, I'm giving another chance is because they're like very valid excuses like her babysitter can't, <laughs> fucking single moms. Her babysitter um, canceled on her one of the times. The other time, like her mom needed her car, like it would, and they both sounded like very legitimate. But I was like, listen, like this is your last chance, right? She said, no, I'm like so excited to see you. I'm so attracted to you. Blah blah blah. I'm like, okay, but I'm just letting you know it's your last chance. So you can, you you want them like respecting you, and you want them knowing where your boundaries are, and respecting those boundaries. Okay. So rather than think of thinking of this in terms of like. I'm just gonna cycle openers, I'm gonna cycle value texts, blah blah blah. As soon as they're ignoring your texts or, or they fuck up and then they cancel, you know, they, or they flake on the plans without giving you a valid reason or without giving you any reason, you're gonna wanna call them out, okay? When they start ignoring, when you're trying to set the plans, call them out. And they're, they're always gonna be like so busy and all this shit. Oh, I was, I was just so busy. Okay, well, you know, that's great. When can we meet up? Alright? Now I'm going to make this whole thing into a series, just because there's so many pieces to it. Um, and I'm also going to make a follow-up video, but like I'm telling you, this is very, 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 very important material covered here. I'm going to make a follow-up video to this series. It's going to have a flowchart, mapping out all this visually, so it will make a lot more sense to you guys. And also, um, giving you screenshots of texts, so you can see the exact real-world situations. I'll show you like three examples where I had flakes, three examples where I, you know, had to juggle shit around, or three examples where I had to, you know, set calorie reminders to deal with scheduled things. But this, you know, your ability to, to rearrange the scheduling and set these dates for as fast as possible, and you know, fucking make them on a show up on the date in the first place by what you bring to the interaction, and be able to close them once they meet up with you. That's how you know. These are like the. But this part for setting them, this this is how you make the machine like very effective, very efficient. Okay, it's not just enough to get the leads. You have to work all these leads. Any lead you don't think of this way. Like I, I've said before, like any girl you don't approach is, is a wasted opportunity. You're fucking shooting yourself in the foot if you go all the way to getting your phone number and she likes you and she would have fucked you, and your dumbass didn't schedule her properly and didn't work the lead properly and you fucking lose out on the opportunity. Okay. So what I've described in this video is, is very, very, very important. It's monumental. <laughs> All right. It's your it, any any chick that you don't properly work the lead, you're gonna miss out on that opportunity to bang her, which is an opportunity to bring her into your life, opportunity to have her on rotation, opportunity to fucking have her as a girlfriend, or maybe even as a wife. For those of you that want a large dose of punishment, <laughs> um, watch my video on marriage to discuss the the pros and mostly cons of marriage. Um. Okay, so that's about it. I'll break this video up into parts. If you've made it this far, you've presumably seen the other parts. If you haven't, go back and watch those. And then there's gonna be a follow-up after I put out this whole series coming out where I show the flowcharts and the real-world examples of how to work these leads, okay? It's about fucking 2 a.m. We got this chick coming at 11 a.m. Almost sure they're close because she seems pretty on. It's just cool, like it's exciting. Like, I'm literally gonna wake up and this chick will be like, you know, I set an alarm for like 10.30, <laughs> like wake up, be like, hey, see you soon, I'll be in the shower, like get out of the shower, and she'll be like in my house, like, you know, probably kind of horny and, and ready to go shortly after. This is a new one. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Good luck, comments below, or any questions you have about any of this shit that doesn't make sense. And it will make a lot more sense once the flowcharts and the real world examples come out. Make sure you re listen to this and rewatch it so you have an idea of how to properly work all this shit because I can almost guarantee 
most of you weren't doing any of this shit or a small amount of this shit, and this is why most of your leads are slipping through the cracks and why you're not closing a lot of them, okay, or even having the opportunity to close them. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.